Our next guest says that she never once wore a bikini before she was 30, but the actress is now not just wearing a two-piece, she's modeling one on national TV as a new spokeswoman for Jenny Craig. She's gone from a size 14 to a size 4, kept the pounds off for nine months. To give you a better idea of what she's achieved, take a look at Sarah Rue before and... Are you going to peek out, Sarah? Look at her now! <laughs> Oh, yeah. work it, girl! Come on, give me the give me the runway. Okay, there you go. That's the best That's I right. work. That's all I do. That's it. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to see you. Wonderful to see you. But I like how wonderful just the way you are. Nice. This must be a great nice. feeling for you. It is. It's very empowering and very liberating and mm -hmm. freeing and all the things you would hope it would be, you know, right? and then be terrified that it's not going to be that while you're in the middle of the journey. But at sure. the end, it's it's very, it's it's great. Oh, God, I'm in a bikini. Oh. I, I like the pose, though. Do you? With the leg. Thank like you. Like that, the before Thank and you. after. Yeah, well, I like that one. So I, I know. Well, congratulations. Thank I know you. you're getting married yes. next month. I yes. Guess? It's like 39 days or something that's crazy are you gonna wear a bikini on the honeymoon um i thought you were gonna say on your wedding day and i was like mm, <laughs> no, no going a no. little classier yes. yes and i stole all my jenny craig bikinis so i'm all set for my oh i got i hope they don't take them back but yeah no i did i took i maybe uh -huh. a few ended up in my purse after the shoot so i'm all set for my honeymoon good well congratulations thank to you, you and, and kevin you. so tell us a little bit about it because we have an idea of how this works how did it work for you well um i knew i wanted to make a change and i I felt like I needed a program that just told me what to do. And I said at the very beginning, you know, you get your own personal consultant. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, I was like, just, I will do whatever you tell me to. I give. I'm clearly not good at really? this. This is not my, you know, it, my area of expertise. It's yours. So I did everything she told me to do, which was at the time eat. It was a 1,200 calorie plan a day. And mm -hmm. um, with the Jenny food and then incorporating your own foods in. But the key is, like you see before you, is using volumetrics. Or as I say, I like to volumetricize my food. <laughs> Um, so like you would Is get a fancy pasta. way of saying portion control? Yes. Okay, gotcha. And thinking of just adding a ton, tons of vegetables and fruits to what you're already eating. Gotcha. And also I, th I think something smart is like thinking of like your meat as not the main part of your plate. It's like your side dish and mm -hmm. the vegetables should be your main part. So anyway, like I would do stuff like cut up fresh spinach and then pour hot pasta and hot sauce mm. over the spinach so that when you twirl up I the like pasta, the spinach melts and it becomes part of the meal. Right. And it's just kind of a way to trick your brain and, and to feel like you're eating more, and you are, but you're eating less calories, just more food and healthier food. So you started with 1,200, but you have been able to... Now I'm on maintenance, so it's like okay. 1,700 a day. Wonderful. And how have you been... Are there times, though, that you just... You've had a, a craving for oh, something. Yeah. And but that's what's so, like, I just, and I, I allow myself, people are like, what do you do if you really, I'm like, I eat it. Like, I don't know. It just seems like you can't sustain something that's impossibly right. hard and, and like where you're feeling deprived all the time. So mm -hmm. part of the program is not letting yourself feel that way. But actually they have, that so funny, good. that's the triple chocolate cheesecake, which I eat pretty much every day. It's really, it's <laughs> really good. And I don't eat it with a fork. They messed no. up. I just take it out of the package and eat it like a popsicle. Just, just, just yeah, go it's right delicious. for it. Yeah, so that you get your chocolate, you get your sort of fixes in, but then, like, I'm on maintenance, so, like, I'll just mainly eat my own foods and then sometimes have a Jenny snack. Mm -hmm. The ones that I really loved, I'll still keep those in my life. Yeah, I like those over there. And, but yeah, you were exercising. Good. Weren't you, like, in a half marathon or something? I ran a half like, marathon. Just, were you active before? No, no, not at all. I'd never run before. Mm -hmm. I remember the time that I finished running up one mile, it was, like, the greatest <sighs> feeling in the world. And then running 30. 13.1 on that day it was so so cool. how do you do it because I know there are folks at home that are like you know there's so many people who have tried yeah. over and over again I know you probably did too oh, my, a million times what do you tell folks how do you get them motivated um, to do what you've done you know I think you really have to like I said give over like I really the thing that was so great for me about it was that I had this consultant it was almost like you know you had a person who cared for you and you had someone who mm -hmm. supported you and I had never asked for help before in my life and I think I was embarrassed to ask for help really so once I had her I just said help me and I think that's what people need to do they need to find someone if it's not your Jenny Craig consultant find someone in your life that you can trust to support you that's a good idea yeah uh, and all the best to you thank you and Kevin you're looking fantastic thank you're always you always been a great guest oh. Oh, thank you.